Good morning, guys. Hope you had a wonderful night. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Um, make sure and listen to the end, guys, because at the end I've got a uh, recording, and pr it's proof that Don did take a shower with his children for all the people who were wondering if I had proof or not and or was just running my mouth about it. There is proof straight out of the horse's mouth, or we could use a synonym for horse, but I won't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video. And, you know, we need to get the watch time hours up. Our channel is really still growing. I mean, it's not phenomenal, but it's, it's growing steadily. And that's, you know, I'd rather it grow steady than not grow at all. Um, on, let me say something real quick, okay? And trust me, I, I'm, I would love anything that was sent to me, but first of all, if you all ever send something to me that can't be sent through email, first off, all my information is on my about page, you know, post office box, blah, blah, blah. But I was speaking with a friend of mine the other day, and they had something sent to them. And I will not mention what it was, but I will say this. The only request I have as far as something being sent to me is if you yourself would not feel comfortable walking into a church holding it in your hand, please don't send it to me. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, it was funny when my friend told me about it, but I couldn't imagine receiving it. Um, anyways, getting that out of the way, let's get on with the subject at hand. As you all know, I put on my community tab asking for information about Tennessee state laws or laws anywhere in the United States. <clears throat> and I appreciate, excuse me, <clears throat> I appreciate all the research and information that was sent to me about this but just like you all i have not been able to find any in the law books i've not found anything that states that it's against the law for a parent to take a shower with a child um in the state of tennessee or in the united states period the only thing that i have came up with or uh, information about when you look for it it brings up information about that it's supposedly maybe healthy for your child. Um, and we're talking no matter the age. We're talking anywhere from the time they can walk until they're 18 years old. It could be healthy for your child. I, I do not agree. Okay. At all. And as bad as I would like to throw a joke out there about maybe Don... Wales knows more about raising kids than we do. I, I just can't say that. I can't even joke about something like that. He doesn't. To me, it's immoral. It's disgusting. And it would never happen in my home. I had four kids in four years. I myself, maybe when they were tiny, tiny babies, I may have put them in the bathtub with me to wash them off and then hand them back to the father. But as they got older and they could sit up and stuff, no, they did not take a bath with me. For one, bath time for moms, especially ones that have multiple kids, that is a sanctuary to get away from the household, to get away from dishes, diapers, bottles, daddies, everything. You go in, you run you a hot tub of water, put you some bubbles in there, you shut the door, you lock it, and you escape the real world for 30 minutes at least. But, getting back to the subject at hand, I could not find any law that says it's against the law for a parent to put their child in the bath with them or the shower with them. Um, I did call Department of Children's Services yesterday. They advised me to call an attorney to actually find out what the law might be itself. They told me I could go to a certain website and find out what their criteria is. I'm not a legal person 
there's a lot of legal jar jargon in there and a lot to sift through so i'm still working on that i do plan on calling an attorney that i know either later today or tomorrow and see if they know of any laws on the books about this but as of right now neither myself nor any of my viewers or subs have been able to locate anything and i just find that odd to me it's a very disgusting for a grown man whether it be the father or not the father to show his new body to a child um, i did read in something yesterday about <clears throat> excuse me about a gentleman who had took his daughter his six-year-old daughter swimming and after they got through swimming he knows that his wife always washed his daughter's hair because she had a lot of hair and, and it would get you know stiff and matty if you don't get the chlorine out of it right away so there was no one in the men's changing room so he took his six-year-old daughter into the changing room and they both took their clothes off and got in the shower and he's standing there showering with his six-year-old daughter washing her hair when an older gentleman of about 50 something walked in and was just gawking at them like and he asked the gentleman uh do you really think this is an appropriate place for your child for your daughter and the guy just obviously couldn't say anything i don't know if he was embarrassed or what but he finished up the guy went on to the the stall and went you know to do his business the guy finished up washing his daughter's hair because obviously they were standing there with no no curtain no nothing he gets them dressed and he goes home and he talks with his wife about it his wife gets mad at the gentleman that thought it was absurd that that guy was standing in a men's shower room with his six-year-old with nothing on in the shower to me that's just that's unbelievable there's no way my child is going to be around any nude man period whether it be in bed sleeping in the shower the tub that is for privacy okay you you a man and a woman should be in somewhere private when they're nude now if you're the type that believes in you know nudity go find you a nude beach somewhere go find a nude colony somewhere nudity colony but for the everyday person it, it's just it's wrong in my opinion and i have the opinion i have the channel so that i can state my opinion i would love to hear you all's your all's opinion of this what you think is appropriate and not appropriate give me all your feedback tell me your thoughts your theories i would i would love to hear it i really would because to me and the way i was raised and everybody around me believes that nudity should be kept for the bedroom or the bathroom not for public viewing of your children now here's the uh audio clip of don talking with molly go lightly and this is where he states that he did put his children in the shower with him and it was recently it was recent right before summer went missing not when they were small children so take a listen like subscribe leave your comments and i'll see you probably this evening thanks so much guys don't forget to listen up no, I just. I mean, I, I slept. She slept in between me and Karis for five years straight. Why? Because I tried to get her sleep in her own bed, and she came to me one night. I said, "Summer, you're sleeping in your own bed." She went in there and laid down, and she come back. She was put and with tears in her eyes. She says, "But Daddy, I just want to be with you." And I said, right. okay, Summer, I couldn't tell her no. Yeah. How do you tell your little girl no when she wants to sleep with you? I can't. It, it's impossible. Well, then why do these people, like Cher and, and Benny, say and put these things in everybody's head that 
used yeah, would all sleep right. naked and shower with her. Like, why were they, why are they well, putting that stuff out? Like, is that true? You know, you know when your little girl and your boys they go out and they play all day, and then they get mixed up with candy. She bring up candy all of a sudden. Yeah. Like, they got the shit all over their face and in their hair. Yeah. Well, I have to take a shower every night because I work in drywall. Right. So I'm like, fuck, get your little punk asses in here. And I, we'd all rinse off together real quick. Mom would be waiting out the towel. I'd throw them out one at a time. And mom would dry them up and dress them. So, you know, I don't want my little girl with freaking candy all over her sleeping next to me. You know, and plus, she ain't gonna sleep good unless she's clean. I did it out of love. So it was, did you all got, did you, how big is your shower? <laughs> I mean, it's like, one of them, you know, I don't know, it's not that big, it's kind of hard to fit. I've, I've had every one of my kids in there with me. Uh-huh. And they're all of them, all four of them plus me. And I'll throw them out one at a time, but wow. no problem. Does Candace shower with the babies? Well, Candace don't take a shower that often because <laughs> I work every day. I work. I have to take a shower yeah. when I sleep. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. That's so crazy. I don't get dirty like all these. When was the last time you did a proper cleanse?